Let's just raise it just a little bit. Yeah, okay, but it's better. I couldn't just quit. I mean, we have way too much content. We still have to freaking get through right now, so. So that wasn't an option, but. I'll bust out the user manual for the rest of it tonight. Keep fooling with it. That'll make life easier. That hurts. The lower the hurts, the lower the sound, right? Also, shit, you might have experience with this stuff. Now I think I'm cutting too much. I'm not gaining enough. How close am I coming through here? The overall sound is better. But looking at the mixer, I'm cutting too much. Let's check now. Well, now I'm, yeah, I'm cutting weird stuff. Don't you love this stuff? This is why when people are like, let's go the XLR route. I'm like, yeah, that makes the most sense. Let's go with the most complicated. If it wasn't an AMD machine, I'd be using that Scarlet Rite. Probably the audio would be half as good, but I don't give a shit. At least I wouldn't have to constantly fool with it. All right, wherever we're at right now, it seems okay. I'm barely getting through on the compressor, which is not good. But I'm coming through here okay. I think it shows I'm coming through okay. A little bit soft, maybe. God, it's been a sloppy stream. But so long as we make some progress, I think I'm going to have a tough time making episodes out of this. Which is complicating the whole manner, because then it's like, why did you make episodes out of the rest of it? They can't have been that much better than this, can they have? You wouldn't think. You wouldn't think, but... Maybe. Maybe. But we should beat it like that. It, sh it shouldn't pick that up. It needs to pick my voice up, not me fucking breathing. What does that mean? Is it picking up lower stuff? It needs to pick up higher stuff? What? I this map design pisses me off beyond. I it's just never self-evident which way you need to go. I'm gonna. Well, I think that door finally opened, so we should be okay. Oh yes, yes indeed. So we're boosting what I want to boost. Actually, I can hear. I can hear it. We're boosting the low because I figured my voice was way too soft. This fucking thing. So we need to go all the way around. Cause it's Borderlands 1! And we would need to go all the way around. Cause that's how we're gonna artificially inflate this game's playtime. That's my fucking E smile. It hurts more to smile in that case than to frown. E. Good quality lighting in here. This is why people like Dr. Disrespect get a fucking producer. I got the professional people messing with the mic. You got me in a goddamn Wendy's t-shirt. Fooling around with plugs I don't even understand. Holy shit. It's a thing I won't use. It's as good as garbage. Hooray! But we made progress. We killed some guys. We killed some guys. Now I'm gonna mess with these knobs some more. Get ready. Every like three months I have to go back and watch every tutorial video to try to figure out what the hell I'm doing again. Let's throw a bunch of trash bosses in here that were like clearly cut content. They wanted to tell a story around them and change their mind.
Look at that reload animation. So what did we do today? We sort of ran in circles. Took about six hours to do content that normally takes people about two hours to do. We argued about 9-11 was an inside job. We fooled around with our audio. It's been a good day. I think we did what the Lord asked us to do today. I think we performed. We performed at our best, which is, you know, not well. That's what we're known for. You want to come and see subpar entertainment? If you want to see the fucking worst of the worst, you come to our rants. You come see our raves. There's even a soundtrack to it. We got a DJ. Name of Wilso. He plays us out like the piano cat. As every day I dig myself just a little deeper into future unemployment. Anyways, these guardians are gonna get us to 69 though. It's gonna be good. Justin popped in here for a minute, then I never saw him again. I think even he has voted, uh, nay. Ette Brute! Ette Brute! That was unnecessarily loud. Woke me the hell up, though. This misses. Look at this. I feel bad. I should feel bad. It feels like we've been here before. This this is what makes me think we probably shouldn't run to 69. Off stream, I could do it. I would just do this. But on stream. Let's make commentary. What are we going to talk about? I don't know. The same shit we've talked about the last 15 times we've played through Borderlands now. It's pretty good. It's not as good as 2. But it did a lot better than 2. But it wasn't overall better. Scaling's better. Hell, I like the guns. I like that there's more guns that feel viable in the end game, but that's still not saying much. It's a classic change the game. Anyway, I'll see you in six weeks when we say the same thing. Let's get to it. Seconds after watching your stream. Oh shit, you're back. <laughs> we say ette brute and you came back. I said congrats to your raptors on winning the game. I said you, you made me feel so conflicted, Justin. I wasn't talking shit about you, by the way. I was just joking around. Because as like the series deepened and they were in the Oracle... It was like, oh my god, all 36 million Canadians are rooting for the Raptors now. I felt like I was in the, it was the Olympics suddenly. It's like, I want to root for the Raptors, and in the end I was, but... It's becoming this USA-Canada thing. And you're making me want to root for, you're making me root for Golden State, and I don't want to root for Golden State. Yeah, but congrats. Congrats on winning the trophy. Feels good, man. Feels good. And then what, I think like two days later, the St. Louis beat the Bruins. It was a really good hockey thing. I don't know anything about hockey, but apparently it was a hockey thing and it was good. Hero Sam. He's got a... That's the kind of name that you get in the newspapers for. That's a good serial killer name. Hero Sam. How you doing, Hero Sam? Thanks for being here, man. You get to see us screw with knobs. Occasionally shoot the thing. And start to repeat ourselves chronically. We'll see you on Mixer, Sam! Thanks for being here. Parts of this, uh, see? You know, it shouldn't, it shouldn't pick up the fucking palette. Wetting my palate naturally before I speak. It, it's hard to pick up my fucking words to the point where my throat has gone raw in a very short stream. But it'll, it'll pick up my fucking palate for no reason. Yeah, 
yeah, I know, just exactly what you guys want to hear, but isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? But it's an extra hype. Yeah, I mean, I was rooting for you guys. I'm glad the Raptors won. Eastern Conference and all, but... I, I got to started to get the distinct vibe that it was USA versus Canada. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Golden State, though. They were so banged up, and they still fought hard. That was impressive, but... There were so many good stories with the Raptors. So many players like uh, Van Fleet that, you know, he's barely drafted. He finally got onto a team, had to walk on as far as I know. And no one thought he was anything. He was finally given an NBA contract and becomes, proves the world wrong in the NBA finals. He's a total stud. So it was a great finals. It's a great finals. For sure. One of the classics, honestly. Tons of good drama. Tons of good drama. It would have been cool to see a game seven, though. Honestly. Hero Sam, thank you for taking the red pill. Seeing just how deep the rabbit hole goes. Welcome to Reality Hero of Sam. Thank you very much for that follow, man. It's much appreciated. Well, I hope you're doing well, Justin. I hope you're back. I know you said it's better, but I hope it's still good. Hope your lungs are good. Hope you've been continuing to enjoy the summer activities. I know you're excited for Doom Eternal, Justin. Thank you for the next cat out, by the way, Justin. Or whatever we're going to call that, the stucco face. Um, I don't like how they changed the multiplayer, Justin. I thought they had a cool-ass thing going. I thought they had a cool idea with, uh, you know, the demon invades your campaign. Other people can invade your campaign as a demon when they announced it last year. And now they, like, they've really neutered that idea to a mode that I... I I have a tough time getting excited about. Two demons. One Doomslayer. Go. It looks okay. I mean, it's pretty. I love the, like, whatever the hell they're doing with the graphics is so wicked. A T-Pose. The modern gaming's... It's like the one bug every AAA studio gets. So anyways, um, I think that it looks, it looks good graphically, but the idea, it doesn't look like you actually invade a campaign anymore. It's two demons versus one decked out doom slayer, and that's the mode. I, I wonder if it was buggy or what, because they actually like showed the gameplay, the 2017 E3. Oh, oh. Hold up. I, I still think they'll have the OG multiplayer, too. All right. And I think they need the multiplayer, but I appreciate you're a campaign player. But I'm talking about, like, last year, remember, you told me you were going to, like, invade my game. Like, people were joking about that, that the, they were showing off this new mode, and the new mode was that you would invade anybody's campaign you wanted as a demon, and they'd have to compete against you, and they, like, showed off the gameplay, and we were all excited. Like, oh, that's a really sweet idea. That's going to be badass. But now what it is, is you queue in, there's two demons and one Doomslayer, I just don't think it looks that cool. I think the overall game looks really cool. I got no doubt about that, but I I just don't know why they killed that idea. Because I thought the original idea was really sweet, and I, it got me excited about the game. It was one of those things, you know, you, when you're weighing the pros and the cons of the pre-order, that was definitely for me in the pro department. And after, I just felt like, yeah, what, what happened to the idea? Why'd they have to neuter it so hard? Go, go! Thank you, Hero. Thank you, Hero Sam. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. Thanks. Open! Hell, I don't... Oh, okay. That's a lot weirder. Now what happens? What? I just read about that. So whatever I'm messing with is what... It, uh, Hey, let's try this. Let's try to boost the low, right? This should be boosting the low. I... This is why Dr. Disrespect gets a producer. I need to go read the fucking user manuals again. Forgot all about that, actually. Well, I don't blame you, but... I remembered it. I was excited to see what they had to show about it, and it looks like it's one of those great ideas that, for whatever reason, they're like, Yeah, you know what? 
we're gonna change it up. I can see where it would be maybe tough to implement, but I just feel like one group of people, you, you, you play through the campaign. Here's how I would do it, and here's why I think they still could have implemented it. Maybe it was harder on a technology level, but... Do you want to turn your campaign onto shared mode or non-shared mode? Do you want to play offline or online? If you play online, anybody can invade your campaign at any time, just like Dark Souls. Dark Souls has already done this. And then, say you're not playing the campaign, you want to play multiplayer. You can queue in just the regular OG multiplayer, which I personally enjoy, but I understand those that don't. Or... You can choose to be a Doomslayer hunter. The hunter of the Doomslayer, a demon, I don't know what you'd call it, but you'd be the person who invades lobbies. Maybe they thought they couldn't get players together, but I, I just don't see much of a future, and I personally don't have a lot of desire in, like, two demons versus one Doomslayer. Go! Your hair has grown since I was here two hours ago. Well, if you didn't... If you weren't here earlier, my wife is hot. I had to argue against 9-11 being an inside job for about six hours. I've completely forgotten how to operate my audio equipment, so I've just been turning knobs, and for whatever fucking reason, I've rubbed my throat raw, even though I haven't streamed in five fucking days. And I've only been streaming six hours. So my hair probably did grow. Hell with it. Oh, you were here for that. Well, that's disappointing. To my ever broadening and never ceasing shame, that's disappointing you were here for that. Where else can I delete myself off the face of the internet so I no longer have to be involved in these arguments? Fucking trigger happy. That's what they can call me. Stuck on politics is trigger happy. Hero Sam says, cool. Thanks, man. Another one of these? Did he fucking pick that up from earlier? You guys remember that drop like 10 minutes ago? Did that asshole pick it up? I think he picked it up. It was even in his hands awkwardly. It was like the exact same one. Holy. They're learning. They're actually learning. Uh. Alright, coming on still, here we come! I missed one. You missed nothing. I turned random knobs. I went to break. I turned more random knobs. I complained about the random knobs not doing the things I want the knobs to be doing. Justin and I talked about basketball. We sports balled it up. We made up shit that we knew very little about. We could be on ESPN in the moment. We said that was a good sports ball game. He said, hey, it was a hyped up sports ball game. I said, someone had to win the sports ball game. We both agreed there was a winner of that sports ball game there. We talked about Doom. We argued about Doom. I kept doing this thing, which is why we're probably not gonna run two more characters to 69. This is going to come up when you become the lead for Gearbox and there will be an outcry to emote you. Dude, I'll be strung up like a pig. Like Mussolini, they'll fucking hang me by my toes and gut me. God dang you believe... Anything, anything, god damn it! Yeah, see, that's nice and loud now. When I get real grumbly... Arr! See, now I'm peeking the shit out of the audio. Tell, tell me, God, what do I need to do? Lord, give me a sign. I'm really trying to talk to you, God. The last time, since the last time we talked, the walk has been hard. Come here, you knob motherfucker. I'll just keep twisting it to the extreme, and that will almost certainly... ensure that we end up exactly where we were, not even one more turn of the knob ago. Yeah, yeah, down vote two more tunes. I might just do it straight out of fucking stubbornness, all right? When you run out of commentary, you can always throw a good old F-bomb in there. Just constantly. Start padding every sentence with it. Sometimes your whole sentence can be that one word.
Yes. Anyway, let's keep the music going. I need a soundtrack to future unemployment. Let's go! Shut your mouth, Marcus. You can always come back for the last two later, right? Yeah, yeah, I could. I'll probably never come back to this game. I mean, maybe someday. That's why I've kind of been doing some little stuff, but... Because you never know. But I should have all the achievements. I do the big tournament. I'll have two characters maxed out. I've got almost all the achievements now. All that will really need done. This guy will be 69. I'm going to finish up the Nox DLC. That'll get all those achievements. Then the big tournament. I could technically say it's 100%. See, it's, it's a philosophical discussion on which we began the stream. Because technically... If we were to say, if we were to say, see, I plan on streaming Borderlands 3 for a long time, Fit Man. That's what I want to do. I've tried Fallout 76, didn't work out so well. I tried Anthem, didn't work out so well. I've been trying to find a game since Battleborn that we really stick with. I've been trying desperately to find another Battleborn for this community. It, it ain't happened yet. It ain't happened. Because you got to love the game. You got to love the game. That's part of it. Not only do you got to grow on it, but you got to love it so you can play it for a long time. I love Borderlands. I've played the hell out of this game. Hence the name. It's probably my favorite franchise. I think I could probably play it a long time, but... The dedication's gotta be real. Anyway, the... 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 the 100%. If we were gonna 100% it, technically, wouldn't we need to do everything on every character? Every quest? Every SDU? Every... Nook and cranny fucking thing? Or is 100% just like one character? Really, really well. All the quests. That's where we are. The goal was to do every character to 69. Then I had an allergic reaction to Poison Ivy. Then I took the kids to sports ball camps all this week, all last week. And suddenly, we're getting towards July and I ain't been streaming all that much. And I'm behind. So we got to make decisions. Car is no car, hey? That's how I look at life. That's the question I ask myself when I get up every morning, Sam. I say, Sam said car, no car. Then I vomit out of my ass and I shit out of my mouth. And I say, Dick Cheney did it. I'm hyped for Borderlands 3. Same here, Fit Man. Same here. So you're going to be the Beastmaster, right? Stop talking about Battleborn. I'm with you, Fit Man. I'm crying right beside you. I got my hand on, on your shoulder right now. And you and I are about to duet like a barbershop trio in the arms of an angel. I love it too. One of our friendly tens on the weekends. Dude, I've been... So my birthday, Fit, by our wife. I, I had planned to stream on my birthday, the 15th. And I did not get home until 10. Left early in the morning. By the time my day was done, I was having dinner of french fries and Coca-Cola in the old car. And I sat down and I looked at my life and I said... This Twitter's gotta go. Because I was doing that same shit that happens on social media. That ridiculous thing where it's like likes and retweets and... Comments start to define... Your value. That digital rubbish that doesn't mean anything. I've been freed! But I've been busy. That's the one bad thing, is I can't communicate with you guys. For any of you that did care, I did try to stay up to date with you guys on Twitter, and I used to do, like, live notifications and shit. I'm done feeling like I'm fucking useless because someone doesn't like a tweet. That's the cancer of social media. Yeah, Beast Mask is going to be good. Happy belated birthday, man. Thanks. Thanks. I typically become a complete... There we go. Dude, it was the Illuminati. Oh, well. Oh, I, I wish he would have posted that emote like 30 minutes ago, dude. Uh, See that? That's the eyes of a deranged man. That's the eyes of a... Something's wrong. Something's deeply wrong inside that person. A lot of pain. A lot of pain in that face. Yeah, Borderlands Street is going to be dope. Can't wait. I 
I honestly thought they took the service down. Nope, it's still going strong. Just doesn't have a whole lot of players anymore. Hero Sam, he's sad now. See, my life has been improving, though, because two birthdays ago, when I turned 27, I, I literally did my whole, like, I'm depressed as fuck on my birthday thing. It, it, no one ever came. So all my self-pity and mourning was for nothing. Of course, it's the most useless self-centered exercise you've ever, you know, enjoyed, because if any of it was real, it, you'd do something about it. But none of it's real. But no one came. No one came. It was very lonely. Very lonely 27th birthday. I think my mother, eventually, around 11 o'clock, came and said hi. This shit was better. I tried to do my whole, like, I'm, you know, blue. It's a blue Sunday birthday thing. My sister showed up at one point. My brother said hi. It was an improvement. My mom showed up at 10 instead of 11 to say hi. Hey, that's progress. That's progress. Something must be looking up. I was able to get three people on my team this year. I guess if I want to go full taxis and I'll make you guys feel like you owe me something next time. See ya. Later. But that's also the nature of getting... Older. I mean, good lord, I guess I'm near 30. Most of you are 30 in here. My birthday gift was socks and underwear. I got a pair of socks. I got a thing of underwear. I got a sh fucking shorts I'm wearing right now. Warm multiple days. Thank God I needed some new shorts. That's it, dog. That's it. But that was like the gift of gifts. It's like, fuck yeah, I got some nice socks. It lasts me through the year. And I got in. I got on here and I started a fundraiser because, you know, the taxes are coming due. I gotta pay these bills. I gotta pay these bills, I do. He hurt his back in the move. Well, I'm out of commentary for the moment, so I'm just gonna walk forward and, you know, go to the fucking diamonds. I was in it when I graduated. Graduated high school. I still got cards. As far as like gift gifts, you know, I, yeah, not for a while. Same with you, Justin. Now we're going to do the Deadpool thing. Who gets to be Deadpool? Who gets to be the girl? You get to be the girl, okay? Fine. We're in agreement. Thank you. I appreciate that. Taking one for the team. I'm Deadpool. But definitely like cards. I'll get a card from my aunt usually. It's your birthday's not over till you get your last card. No, you fucking double check it for money. There's no money in there. What? You didn't? You don't want to celebrate your birthday? Do you still celebrate your birthday? You know, this year I was a lot better about it, wife. I gotta be real with you. I, st I started thinking like I gotta get myself out of this fucking rut. I gotta celebrate my birthday because I started thinking about it more. It's like, man, I've been alive 28 years. Like, I'm alive. I'm alive. And I just started thinking, it is what it is what you make it. Yeah, you know, it's you're fucking an adult now, so everything's on you. And that's just how that that runs. Like I put the fucking candles on my cake, but I made the best. I made the most of it. And last year, I just, uh, especially because that was the year I'd lost my girlfriend. Dude, I was done. I was in a hole. But it was a little better this year. I made more of it. I hung out with my nephew, hung out with my niece, said hi to my mom. I was honestly thankful for the fucking socks and underwear, to be real with you. I mean, clean socks and underwear become, like, the shit. It's like my nephew never wants to take a bath, never wants to, like, you know, take a nap. It's like, young Padawan, you're going to learn that these are the luxuries. Hot food. Can never get him to eat. I'll make a big meal for him. 
tell him like this. You're gonna learn. You're gonna learn, nephew, that one of the sweet things in life is a hot meal. We gotta get this XP. Hero of Sam says, oh, no. Still struggling to understand Hero of Sam. But I believe in no quitters. I believe in no quitters. I think it was ultimately the acceptance that I'm the one being miserable. Like, no one's gonna fucking pull me out of the hole. I've known that for a long time, but there was still that, you know, hoping against hope that... I don't know, Jesus is gonna return, I'm gonna take his hand, have a seat next to the throne, and we're all gonna ride into the future. And now the acceptance that you get what you get, and be thankful for that. And, you know, lowering the expectations makes it a hell of a lot easier. And then you learn, hey, when the bar is zero, you get a mild improvement, like some of your family showed up to hang out with you for a little bit. Not so bad. Not so bad. I'm new. Hey, that's not a bad answer. You're just saying random shit with no context. <laughs> Your family local to you? Practical ghosts are the best. Yeah, yeah, we all live together pretty much in the same town. Not my extended family, but my brother, my sister. Yeah, my wife and I go out to eat, but that's it. Do you enjoy it, though? Do you have fun? Does she pay? And speaking of, my grandma turns 85 in a few days. I feel like I gotta do something special for that. It, al it always feels good to give, too. To give like I found that it's it's a pretty nice experience to give people nice birthdays. But I've been I've been struggling because my niece and my nephew they have a lot of stuff, a lot of technology. My nephew's got a switch. He's a great kid. They're all great kids. They really are. But I've been like trying to teach them to appreciate the small things. So that's made the birthdays a little more difficult because I don't just want to buy them something like I would, but I feel like that's not the real gift for them right now. They need a they need the deeper they need the deeper life gifts. We pay, okay, right on. <laughs> yeah, but I think I'm gonna start personally celebrating my birthday a little bit more. I know it's not about the gifts and, and things of that nature, but I think it is to a degree. The birthday is about like, hey, you just lived another year. Cause We've, we all know we've, we've, we've all lost people, family, friends. I, hell, I've been thinking about Borderlands 3. I've been thinking about since Battleborn. Like, I know from this community, people that have died, like Gimpin. Gimpin and, like, I know he's not a member of our community, but, like, the gaming community at large, Total Biscuit, and some streamers. I know of some streamers that have died. I didn't know him personally, but in the wider community. And that's like, some people didn't make it to Borderlands 3, and that's a weird thought. So I think I'm coming to a place with birthdays where I'm like, hey, I made it another year, baby. I used to be one of those weird people that was kind of into like the, you know, 27 club. I didn't want to join it, but I always thought, you know, probably in our culture and the world, it is better to like accomplish a hell of a lot young and then die. Now I'm thinking, cause I'm like looking at my grandma, 85. Our country's only about 250 years old. She's seen like a third of the, our country's history. Like, It'd be kind of cool to see that much of the history. You know, so long as things stay relatively stable. It'd be pretty fucking cool to see that much history. We're men, though. Men have a shitty... You know, our st statistics aren't on our side with this. As Miss Parker says, speak for yourself. <laughs> New to conversing. I like that answer, Justin. Gimpin died, Justin. Gimpin died. He uh, had some kind of bleed out in his uh, sock, uh, his esophagus. I guess he was a drinker, which is never good with paraplegics. But our, our paraplegics apparently also just have shitty statistics of really bad uh, mortality rate. Gimpin was a paraplegic. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, but I know of like a streamer that got really sick and started posting on Twitter like, Hey, I'm not feeling too good. I'm not feeling too good. And then like a week later, he was dead. Obviously, Total Biscuit died of stomach cancer and stuff. So it's weird. It really is the thought that counts. Yeah, I agree with you, Dan. I agree. I agree. You don't need a lot. You don't actually need a lot. Having things is nice. There's no doubt about it. Having things is nice. Okay, I'm not going to like sit here and talk about some like dream of living in the woods or some shit. 
but appreciating what you have is even nicer. That's why I like things like Twitter. I'm just... I, Twitter, losing Twitter is a mistake from the business side. I can't inform you guys I'm streaming as much. Um, yeah, I can't post stupid shit, which is good, but... You know, it is a part of the system. You do network through Twitter, etc. But at the same time, to me, it's so fake. It's so fake. Needing likes. Not the friendships that have been formed through all this, but just... The whole thing that a like can't translate to anything in the real world. That's why I hate microtransaction stores. If here's 500 atoms for the canvas bag, 500 atoms doesn't exist. And you're telling me it's got a better... What do they say, uh... You know, like, Canadian dollars to US dollars. Exchange rate, it's got a... It's got a one-to-one -one exchange rate with US dollars. I just think stuff like that... In the larger sense is like Twitter in a nutshell or Facebook in a nutshell. It doesn't mean anything. It's not real. I know that I... Like my ex and I, we got rid of Facebook. We were together almost seven years. It's because we both like realized that we were fighting over like Facebook stuff at one point. And... It didn't mean anything. Like, a post on Facebook was a reason to get in a fight. You would get in a fight on Facebook and it wouldn't mean anything in real life. It's the dumbest thing for live notifications. And I appreciate that, Justin. That's that's the mistake of getting rid of Twitter, but... Which I, I think is stupid of me, but at the same time, I always just feel, honestly, so much better when I'm off of social media. I think it's a generation thing, though. Like, people are always like, all oh, these millennials. These goddamned millennials. They're idiots. They're not. Some of us, okay, okay, I understand. Like, if you can't pay your own bills and you're donating to, like, a fucking animal shelter, like, okay, that's a weird millennial thing to do. But we understand it seems that, like, having 24-7 news on all the time is poison and you're better off playing classical music. In our... From what I've seen, it's the parents that are more addicted to social media than the kids half the time. They want to know what the hell the neighbor's up to. They want to know what Sally's up to. They want to know what their daughter's been up to. And I'm getting to a point where I, like, I agree with the Germans. I just... Privacy. You want your privacy, I want my privacy. And maybe we shouldn't be getting our kicks or our thrills or our daily satisfaction with life out of whether or not we have likes or retweets or posts. I couldn't give two shits about it. <laughs> I'm gonna go down. I'm playing for shit. I'm just sitting here talking about... Talking to talk. That's our fault, man. Men tend to be proud and less likely to report physical or health issues as a whole. That's true. That's true, Dan. Yeah, you're making a valid point, my friends. You're making a valid point. Yeah, but the more I've thought about it, the more I've started to feel like I want to try to grow old. I want more time. Now's probably the moment when I won't, you know, I'll get sick or something, but... If, if you start to focus your life and you start doing the things you want to do, you want more time to do the things you like to do, you know, to work and to get better and etc. And so I think I'm, I'm reaching that point in my life where I want more life. Fuck posting for likes. Post what you like. <laughs> Within reason. That, like, a part of that is the whole, you know, I have this opinion, so I'm going to go on a 10-page rant. And that opinion, like almost all opinions do, age about like milk. And uh, it'll come back and bite you in the ass somehow. Somehow, some way. I had this artist friend. I made a game with him in high school, honest to God. I've always liked artists. And we had totally different opinions. Like, he thought Cuba was a fucking paradise. And we go round and round. But I liked him as a person. And he, he used to tell me, he's like, isn't it weird that our grandkids will know us through uh, Twitter or Facebook? Like, they'll be able to actually look at what their parents were posting. And I thought, you know, that is weird. Maybe that's good. I would like a family history like that. But mm, at the same time, the more general, more important memories, most important highlights... And not that you had a toothache and you caught Jay Johnson jaywalking is, uh... <clears throat> I 
you know, maybe that's more important. Uh, none of it really interests me. I'm completely off Facebook. I can't stand Facebook. That was the thing that got me, is like, fighting with someone over nothing. Over posts on Twitter. It's old people, I'm telling you. I swear to God, it's the older people that are the worst about this thing. They always claim that we're terrible, but they're the ones who are addicted like ass to it. I worked when I got out of high school. Got into the county garage job here in my town. City garage, you know, you trim the roads, you get the, the trees, all that shit. Weed whack the signs, paint the roads. It was very political for some reason. And my grandpa was a politician, but he was a trustee. So that literally means he was in charge of keeping roads in the firehouse in okay shape. It's not a power position. It doesn't mean anything. It's, wor it's a working position. Okay, and yes, he was a member of, you know, the GOP or whatever, the Republicans. But it, it really didn't fucking even remotely matter. And yet, for some reason, there was this old hag whose son didn't get a job at the county garage, and I did, and she t took every day to sit there and argue with me on Twitter and insult me on, or Facebook, I mean, because she felt like I only had the job because it was politically motivated, which was the strangest thing ever because our engineer in the town is a Democrat, and the people in the building were Democrats, and... And I thought to myself, does this, like, 60-year-old woman not have a life? And then I started to notice that it was mostly 60-year-old women and 40-year-old women and 50-year-old women who are just hooked into social media like no other. You go to a movie, they can't get off the fucking Facebook. So they say that our generation's terrible and we're hooked into our cell phones, but I've found the complete opposite to be true. Social media encourages keeping up with the neighbor's mentality, and because of that, everyone pairs things to make their lives perfect, which none of us are. Hell no, none of us are, and who gives a shit what your neighbors think? Okay, your neighbors liked your post. Why is that supposed to make, you know, like, that's how you gauge your self-worth? I think that that is toxic for us as human beings. I want genuine, honest-to-God interaction with somebody. I want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you. If possible. It's too easy. It's too easy to hide behind a keyboard. Like some of the trolls we've had in here. You think half these trolls would say this shit to us in person? You think any of these people would come up to you in real life and say you look like, you know, autistic Tom Cruise. You never hear that from people, unless they're bullies. Oh, then you get Young Son. Young Son's on there for, you know, he's just looking for pussy. I guess that makes sense to you. Would Well, you would, Freak Show, but you also have a broken hand, so I could take you. Social media encourages keeping up with the neighbors. I agree with you.